Now, if you ask me, I don't think it's an insane thing to say that Guilty Gear has its fair share of weird characters. Although we've gotten so accustomed to oddballs like Faust, Zato One, and Bedman, every now and then we'll see a certain character that reminds us as to why this series is so well known for its eccentricity. What is perhaps the best and most recent example of this is the latest character added to Guilty Gear Strive, Abba, who, along with her husband slash key-shaped axe Paracelsus, brings a certain type of unique insanity that only Guilty Gear can bring us. This video isn't about Abba, however. Rather, it's about another long-forgotten Guilty Gear character who, in my opinion, is even weirder than Abba and who desperately needs to return for Strive. And that character is, of course, Zappa. First appearing in Guilty Gear XX, the third main instalment in the series, Zappa would return for all future updates of XX before being relegated to minor story mode cameos in the following games. Now, you might be looking at the artwork for Zappa that's been appearing on screen and thinking what makes this guy so weird? He looks like a normal guy, albeit dressed a bit uniquely, with the mysterious girl accompanying Zappa perhaps being the oddest thing about him. So what's going on here? Well, Zappa is an ordinary man from Australia whose life is turned upside down when he is suddenly possessed by a vengeful spirit known as Esco. That's the ring looking girl in his artwork, by the way. Having been drawn to Zappa due to him resembling the man who had once scorned her, Esco's possession of Zappa also opens him up to a whole host of other spirits that arrive to call the distressed Aussie their new home. It's at this point that you probably should have realised that Zappa is the unluckiest person in the entire Guilty Gear universe. Don't worry though, it's going to get a lot worse for this guy. Now filled to the brim with a multitude of different spirits, Zappa's life has gone from that of an ordinary man to one constantly living in hell. A life that he can make no sense of as he is, at first, completely unaware of the ghost's existence, let alone their current possession of him. It's at this point that I can finally reveal Zappa in action, as his fighting ability is only drawn out thanks to Esko and the other ghosts who possess him at the start of every fight. <laughs> Together, the ghosts take away control of Zappa's body from him in order to help the usually meek individual gain victory over any who dare to threaten him. This leads to, in my opinion, one of the greatest animated fighting game characters of all time. And I don't really mean that he's as expertly animated as, say, Street Fighter 3's 12, but rather that it's more like the things that Zappa does are just so visually insane that you can't help but be impressed. I mean, just look at Zappa's idol stance sprite, for example. It's both absolutely horrific and awesome at the same time. This is all a result of Zappa's possession, which allows his body to move in distorted ways, gain immense powers and achieve positions and angles that no normal human could ever dream of doing, even in the already abstract world of Guilty Gear. This is just one side of Zappa's moveset however, as with just one input, he can randomly summon one of the four ghosts possessing him to help him in battle, these being a demonic pitch black dog, a broken and bloodstained sword, the spirits of a set of triplets, and Rao, the ghost of an ancient Chinese military commander. It's with these randomly summoned spirits that the rest of Zappa's moveset comes to life. Each ghost can turn Zappa's kit into a specific fighting game archetype, such as the dog turning him into a puppet pressure character, or the triplets turning him into a long range trickster. While all of this makes Zappa an amazingly cool character to watch, it does also give him the caveat of being one of the hardest characters to use in the XX games. On paper, he's one of the best characters you can use, being capable of handling pretty much every style of play and being damn good at it too. That, however, requires players to gain intimate knowledge of his entire diverse kit, which is a lot to ask for the average fan wanting to just hop on and play a character they like the look of. Zappa requires knowledge and flexibility like few other characters on the XX roster, but you'll only see results if you're willing to take the time to learn him. This isn't a bad thing though, as I do feel like fighting games need a character like that, but it can be a roadblock preventing some characters from gaining a wider appreciation. As someone who isn't particularly great at fighting games, I can stomach the highest skill level required of Zappa's moveset because I just enjoy the character, but that might not be enough for some, which appears to be the case as Zappa is almost virtually non-existent in Strive character request polls. When it comes to fighting games though, I find the most enjoyment in the story and personalities that can shine through each character, and in my opinion, Zappa is no slouch in that department either. A lot of Zappa's story in the XX games involves him travelling the world in search of the infamous Dr. Faust, who Zappa hopes will provide a cure for his seemingly random blackouts that leave him bruised and battered upon coming to. 
While Zappa attributes this to a mysterious medical condition, it is of course the ghosts possessing him that causes these blackouts. Depending on the route Zappa can take in XX, his story can end with him and Esco being taken to another world by the immortal Nightwalker Slayer, who intends for the two to stay with an assortment of freaks and demons, much to Zappa's horror. <laughs> In his other, clearly more canon route, Zappa is seemingly cured of his affliction by Faust and returns to his normal life where he begins to actually miss the presence of Esco and the other ghosts. However, Zappa is soon struck with horror when Esco returns, breaking into his house in order to reunite with her new beloved. Hmm? It's with this ending and Zappa's subsequent cameo in Guilty Gear excerpt, the next main instalment in the series however, that a misconception began to arise within the fanbase that Zappa was permanently cured of his possession after the XX games. This is mostly due to Zappa's on-screen presence in Exerd being completely ghost-free, with him even remarking on the events covered in the XX games as a dark time in his life. However, him being free from Esco and the other ghosts is actually not the case, as specified multiple times not just by the games themselves, but by Guilty Gear's creator and its overall god, Daisuke Ishiwatari. Zappa's profile in the GG World database reveals that he began to look into his own solution to his possession after Faust's failure to find a cure in XX, which leads to his role in Exerd. But the final paragraph also reveals that as of Strive, Zappa is still looking for a way to solve his problems, implying, if not outright confirming, that Esko, Rao and the other ghosts still call Zappa home. In a 2021 Famitsu interview with Daisuke Ishiwatari, however, another crucial bit of info regarding Zappa was revealed, where, in response to someone asking if the ghosts were exorcised from him, Ishiwatari revealed that not only is Zappa still possessed, but that he's now actually in control of the spirits possessing him and is able to ask them for help if he should desire it. This is a fairly big change for Zappa, not just in story, but what could also be in gameplay, as he's now seemingly reached an understanding with his condition and can now use Esco and the other ghosts in combat, instead of being forcefully taken over and controlled against his will. This could lead to a near complete rehaul for Zappa's gameplay kit. The randomness of ghost summoning can be excised completely now, allowing players to directly choose what playstyle they want to focus on against a particular opponent or move, eliminating the high skill ceiling he requires in XX in the process. This also fits within the overall themes of Strive that we've seen a lot of from several members of the returning cast, personal growth and the willingness to accept oneself and whatever change occurs as a result. Throughout his paths in the XX games, Zappa's almost inhuman amount of bad luck leads to him developing an unstable psyche that is beaten down more and more by the world of Guilty Gear as he tries desperately to find a cure for his affliction. <laughs> でも、However, despite his desire to rid himself of the ghosts possessing him, Zappa's overall refusal to accept what is happening to him leads him to even more deranged scenarios that only send him deeper and deeper into a near-psychotic breakdown. 
It's only after accepting the nature of his possession and gaining a temporary reprieve from the ghosts that Zappa begins to miss the spirits that have been defending him from harm, albeit against his will. This, of course, is only a brief thought as he is almost immediately set upon once again by Esko, but it at least shows that deep down Zappa is willing to compromise with the ghosts possessing him. By the time of the Exert games, Zappa has been able to enjoy a period of peace away from his constant blackouts, though he looks back on that period with a dark disdain, calling his experiences in the XX games horrors. Those horrors were not for naught, however, as Zappa has already grown and changed as a person since his time suffering from the blackouts. Having found his purpose as a spiritual phenomena nerd, Zappa has now gained an abundance of confidence, something that he sorely lacked in the XX era. With a newfound determination to solve not just his problems but the world's, Zappa is able to make strides in the occult field and is one of the many people who help fight against the universal will and aerials. By better understanding what is happening to him, Zappa has grown to accept the spirits, leading us to what can now be a hypothetical role in Guilty Gear Strive, where we could see an even mature Zappa fully aligned with his ghostly inhabitants and using them to their fullest capacity while using his experiences to further develop his work. This type of change and growth is a key part of Strive at this point, as shown through multiple characters such as Abba, Bridget and Biken to name a few. A Zappa that appears in Strive would naturally be very different to the Zappa that once appeared in XX, making him a perfect character to also represent the core themes that Strive has already worked so hard to show off. If you couldn't tell already, I really want Zappa back in Strive. He's easily my favourite character in the entire Guilty Gear series because of how damn awesome, funny and honestly interesting he is. Just based off his animations and nature in the XX games, Zappa in the Strive engine and art style would just be insane to see. And with Season 4 already confirmed, I really hope his return happens soon, because he absolutely deserves it. So please Arc System Works, I need you to add Zappa to Guilty Gear Strive. Even if you don't do anything with him story wise that's even remotely close to what I said in this video, I don't care, I just need to see the crazy shit this character can do in Strive's art style, so please do it. <laughs> Alternatively, I will also accept Robokai, because he's awesome too. God, I love Robokai. We await your return, warrior.